at some point, Jagex added the ability to scale your raid up as if there were more people in the raid than there actually were. Now you might ask, why would you do that? Well, that of course is because you get more points. So, due to my, um, well, lack of success with regular solos and getting the Twisted Bow back, I'm gonna try doing some scaled solo raids to get more points per raid. Yep. <laughs> I, so, literally, I timed my special attack there. I, I sent it after he should have ranged me, so I didn't pray melee, because I was like, I'm gonna wait a few ticks, and it should range me. And sometimes, Mutadile does this thing where it just fucking stares at you. Like, it can attack you, but it just goes... Oh. Oh! He... Oh! <laughs> This is the worst boss ever created! Oh, I landed the ZGS, but he made it to the tree. I am in misery, bro. Fuck me, man. Restart. Okay, <laughs> I'm restarting the fucking raid. Oh my god. Woo! It took me 32 minutes, which is like 10 minutes slower than my normal raids. But I also got, like, 20,000 more points, at least. So, that felt kind of worth, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know. That felt, that, that felt kind of worth. Now, like I mentioned before, I can scale these raids up simply using the board outside of the Chambers of Zarek. However, I also occasionally am gonna have viewers that need to get a kill count for the Korend and Kebos Achievement Diaries. So, in those instances, I don't even need to use the board to scale it. I can actually just bring a couple of people with that, of course, won't do anything in the raid. But when I complete the raid, they'll get the Achievement Diary task for completing a raid because they're in it and, hey, it's, it's a win-win for everybody. I get to help the community out a little bit and uh, I can still try to get, you know, more points or more purples. Come on. Oh, we got a purple. Ooh, okay, okay. The mega rares have paid off. Oh, come on, dude. This could be the one, man. 61,000 points. This could be the one. It's a, it's a prayer scroll. Of course it's a fucking prayer scroll. Pet. No, no, no. No, no. 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 God damn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just give me the fucking bow. That is, is that my fourth omelet? Oh my fucking god, man. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The fact that I still have not had one single Twisted Buckler on the collection lock, four pets, <laughs> but no buckler on the log is, is just bizarre. All right, the last raid of the day. We've had one... <laughs> okay, the, the way I turned the camera, I did not think I was gonna... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> I didn't think the camera was gonna do that. Well, I'm all out of stamina potions, or, well, pretty much out of stamina potions. So, it's time to give these uh, new pieces of equipment we got last episode a try. We got the Alchemist Amulet and the Prescription Goggles. Now, I've got 500 Amylase Crystals. So, without either of these, right, I would get 500 one-dose potions. And I've cleared these out so we can tell exactly what kind of benefits we get. So, we should get 500 with nothing. Let's see what we actually get. Okay, we're finishing it up. Let's see how we did. So, instead of 500... One... Oh my gosh. Okay. So, instead of 500 doses, we made... Uh... 559. By the looks of it. So, we got 59 additional doses. So, that is the, um... You know, that's the goggles saving me 59 amylase crystals. And then our amulet of chemistry went off 63 times. That's 63 free doses in addition to 59 additional amylase crystals, bro.
<laughs> Where was this update my whole life, man? I I'm telling you, Mastering Mixology is so sick for Iron Man. I'm fucking trolling. Actually, I think I'm gonna get bailed out by this telly. Yup. Yup. One of the rare times teleport portals are beneficial to you. Thanks, Ohm. But an elite clue. It actually is, uh... I've had a serious lack of elite clues. Normally, I swear I'm getting multiple a day. And, uh... Well, it's been a while now, but we finally have our third elite, so I guess we can do a little master clue content quick. Yeah, all right. Pretty standard to begin with. Obsidian Cape R? Okay, obviously not a unique, but, you know, it's something. And Samurai Gloves. Yeah, both uh, Master Clue uniques, but definitely not collection log slots, that's for sure. Oh, that was a chance. <laughs> oh, again! <laughs> Well, we are once again taking a brief pause from the Chambers of Zarek because Jagex updated the Huey Codal. Now, last episode, I was hunting for the final Huey Codal hide, which I need for a Master Clue, and I didn't really have much luck. But, Jagex actually made a recent change where they made the hides a little bit more common, and instead of just getting one hide at a time, you now always get two to three, which obviously would have been a great update when I got the first two hide drops, but that's... That's just, that's how this game seems to go. The longer you wait, things just, you know, tend to get easier. Um, so yeah, I want to go back to Huey, try to knock out this hide again. Because, uh, hey, if they're a little bit more common, I mean, surely we'll get it, right? I know quest cape, sir. I got a quest cape, what you mean? Bro, 80? Holy shit. The last time I was here, I was talking about how frequently I was getting 30 pages. Now you get 80 at a time? Holy shit. I am about to hit 50 million attack XP. In about, well, actually, considering I'm on shared, it might take a little bit, but, you know, it's coming soon. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> I was, I was just <gasps> trying. Okay, yes, thank you, Dumpy. Somebody rang the door. Um, Iron Mammal has reached 50 million XP in attacks. Let's fucking go. Oh, did I forget to run the Gamba for this kill? I was gonna run it again. Oh, we got it! Yes! There it is. Whoa, the beams are mixing. Did you guys see that? So there's like a built-in loot beam. No matter what with Huey. And then the orange beam from Runelight was like mixing in with it. That was kind of cool. So that was another part of the update where you don't just get one hide anymore. You get two to three. Which I think is a really good change. Like this... It's, it's a mid-game upgrade. And you need a bunch of hides to make the full set. Why you would only get one at a time at the rate that you got them was very silly. So, good uh, good change in my opinion. Okay, sweet. Um, Right, let me grab these hides then. So, I only need three of them. So, I'm going to have one extra now. Yo, hold up. Can I do this without leaving? Uh, uh, let's try doing this without leaving the instance. We're going to go Lunar Spellbook Tan Hide Spell. Did I grab the right runes? No, I don't think so. I don't know what it is. Nats. Apparently you can't tan them, so... I'm gonna try just using a needle on them and see if it works. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we need one, uh, coif. And one set of vambraces. There we go. Now, I've seen it before. I'm gonna be honest. The Huey Codal Hide coif. Is, uh... <laughs> It's something, bro. I, uh, it's, it's something. Uh, it's, it's a little... Oh, fuck! My ult just died. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I forgot I was still standing in there. My fucking ult just died. Okay, so I think I'm done with Huey for now. I am missing the pet and the wand. The wand isn't actually useful for me, though, so I don't really see myself grinding it out. Not anytime soon, anyway. Um, all in all, four hides, 250 pages, and we did get the tome. Um, but I'm kind of happy about the alchemals, man. 235 Addy Plates, 204 Rune Skims, 162 Rune Skirts, 222 Maces. That's some respectable alchemals, honestly. Well, since my bank space is pretty limited as it is, I may as well make the stash unit for this right away. Build Inconspicuous Hole. And goodbye. Now, we'll see how long it actually takes for us to get that master clue step. Watch me just never get it now. You never know. Couple of doofuses. 
Dumb and Dumber over there. No! Fuck! What's the name of that elf place you grow fruit trees? Let ya. Let you lick my nuts. <laughs> oh. Did I just literally max with my scythe? All three hit splats were maxes. That may have been the first time I've ever done that before. Holy shit. I don't know if my stats were fully boosted or not. I did just kind of brew, but... Either way, that was, that was a true max scythe. Manifest it, manifest it, manifest it. Purple, 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 purple. We take red, we take blue, we combine them. What color do we get? White, evidently. I'm now, listen, I, I'm now 9 HP. I need to lure this mystic and he is almost surely going to get the melee off. Oh. Oh. Okay, but if he does get an attack off, I gotta flip. No! <laughs> a nine through the prayer. So, I mean, he, he, I, I, I timed the redemption flick too late anyway, but it didn't matter. He hit a nine on nine through prayer. Fuck my ass, man. Come on. So, I got a bunch of alkables and stuff that I talked about from Huey. And when I have a big variety of alkables, I don't actually alk them, I sell them to Martin Thwaite. Um,. The, I think he buys at least the first one for high alk value. So what I'll do is I'll just sell a couple of everything. And then I'll hop worlds and repeat. And it's way faster than, like, actually alking all this stuff. 20,000 blood runes going into the Vire Well. So that's, uh, 10,000 scythe charges. Okay, and, uh, 32,000 souls and 80,000 chaos going in. 16k shadow charges. That sounds like a shitload. I, I'm telling you, that's like maybe two weeks of solo raids. Maybe? Like, it's it's depressing how often I have to do this. Okay, good luck, believers. Ugh. Oh, yes! We finally broke our fucking dry streak. Oh my god. Please don't be a prayer scroll. I think we were like 2.3 million points dry for this. Please don't be a fucking prayer scroll. Yes! 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 God fucking damn it. Fi oh my god. Yes, dude. Holy shit. We got something back. No, not the bow, honey, but I got something else I needed. Fine, I'll take it, bro. Uh, you, you, you have no idea. It's been so long since I've had something new. Oh, were your good luck charms? It's the Blood Moon, boys. Oh. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. 2564, we got our bottoms back. Let's go put a... Let's go put a kit on these things, man. God damn. <laughs> I was like, there's a way to <sighs> No, I'd be if I got the bow, I'd be louder than that, I think, yeah. yeah. Woo. All right, we got five extra recolor kits in the bank, thank goodness. So uh, let's go ahead and recolor those bad boys, and we have our ancestral back, dude. Uh, I'm actually going to go check if this does give me a max hit. I don't really know how I'm going to test because I'm not going to be able to be overloaded, but... I mean, I would think it would kind of work the same either way. I don't know. We'll, we'll go to the house one way or another. Alright, let's see. Full Ancestral Shadow hits a 65. Virtus Bottoms hits a 64. Let's go. Actually a max hit, thank god. Is this best in slot mage gear? It is indeed. This is absolute best in slot mage gear. I don't think I'm missing anything, because we have the shadow, and then, you know, if we were, if we were not using the shadow, we've also got the fortified ward in the Kodai. Yeah, that's literal max mage. We take those.